Hi, I'm Heminder Jayavira. I'm a co-founder of Venture Frontier Lanka. I'm a serial entrepreneur and an innovator. Uh, my background is electronics engineering, but I have moved to uh, build Venture Frontier Lanka to develop ecosystem of own entrepreneurship in Sri Lanka. When I left University of Moratua, I my only you know ambition is to get into you know one of the blue chips companies you know as an engineer or whoever. 99% or been 99.9% of our students that was the the ambition. But now you know coming back say 15 years later in 2018 today if you take University of Moratua, I wouldn't say that you know still there's. 90% still looking for, for a job in a blue chip company. So that has not changed. But there's this 5 to 10% students who really want to do something on their own. So I think that's a, I would say it's a really good positive change. So they are not worried about, you know, you know, show, showing that I'm an engineer of XYZ company. No, they want to do start something on their own. So I think that's little bit of mindset change is a really important thing. In my view, I think there are different models that you can follow. I mean, Sri Lanka can't follow Silicon Valley model. It doesn't work. Okay, it's, a, it's something that has been developed for nearly 50 years or maybe more. We have to find different models, maybe different models. For example, maybe a country that was nowhere in startup ecosystem, say 20 years ago, now doing really well. So we have to identify what really made that change. A good example is Israel model. Israel, a similar country, I would say a few years ago, still they have a lot of problems. I mean, it's there was a civil war going on, like Sri Lanka, uh, some time back. Uh, Infrastructure-wise, of course, they have developed right now, but a few years ago, maybe a decade ago, it does not like that. But it has been continually pumping entrepreneurs. Uh, I mean, if you go to Tel Aviv University, uh, it's the opposite of Sri Lankan universities. 90% are entrepreneurs, maybe 10% looking for jobs. So, I mean, that's the opposite side of it. So, I think it's a model that we can use. Uh, because we have a lot of tech talent. Israel is really good at agri-tech and also now it's really good at cyber tech, cyber security. So likewise, we have to identify a tech area, a tech area which is we can really develop a lot of skill set. It can be fintech, it can be bio, uh, biotech, it can be medtech. I know University of Moroto has been you know, producing a lot of uh, biomedical engineers and a lot of startups that are in more ventures are biomedical startups. There's a startup who is looking for uh, to identify eye diseases, the top eye diseases with a photograph. I mean, that can be a world class product, maybe a next unicorn product, you never know. And then there's another startup uh, looking for to identify diabetes non invasively. And then there's another startup looking for to identify uh, various issues in your body when you're working and all that uh, through through uh, uh, you know uh, there's a, a technology called gate analysis so so these are the things that university monitor students are doing i think that's an area that we can really bring out because all these products are not just for sri lanka but all the products can be you know scalable to entire world. that's an area that we should work on